Well, Paul Felder wants his teammate Sean Brady's nickname to be Brickhouse, and I'm not sure there's a more appropriate moniker for this guy than that. Have you ever seen a fighter respond better to a loss than Sean Brady did against Kelvin Gastelum after he was humbled by Bilal, remembered the name Muhammad? This man's wrestling and grappling and sheer physical strength is as scary a proposition, I would think, for any future welterweight contender. And now with momentum reacquired, we'll see if Sean Brady can take that requisite next step. Challenger Gilbert Durino Burns, perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170, but he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best, and if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge, and he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But, of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns, he is ready to go so are we for our main event. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Sean Brennan! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Gilbert Durino Burns! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, well, if you follow Gilbert Burns' career, you know this man actually prefers to strike over grappling at this point of his career. He has gone a great lengths to round out that side of his game under the guidance of Henry Hooft. Every round begins on the feet. Gilbert Burns wants to throw hands tonight. We'll see how it goes early in this round. Dorino gets hit with a kick. And a big right hand early. Early striking action here and good shots. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. Making all these shots count. Brady gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Don't allow the hard down. Don't allow him And there you go, down. again, half guard. Oh, well, he's got him softened up here. There it is, now he's going to mount. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Burns is in half goal. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. 
Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defenseman. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Brady's back in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocks! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that it presented to him. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one for him? All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Whiffs on the right hand. Hands on your face. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Brady gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Good jab. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Burns. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Missed on the right hand. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Actually, the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh, hook to the head by Brady. Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Final seconds. He Final needs fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times in one round. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear Hurry. on you. Let's see what Hurry. type of effect this takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. All right, here we go with our next round. This guy, oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of both types of strikes. Oh, countering, it looks like with a bottom. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. 
These guys are back and forth for the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you drew it up today. Jim. No, I, you know, watching these two fight in preparation, you don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is chasing takedowns, but he must have seen something in his opponent that is allowing him to get this type of success on the feet. He looks like he is evolving as a fighter, and that is very good for him and his team to see. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's gotta get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the point of space, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an on bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out of the Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, big left. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Give a guillotine. Give a guillotine. Jump the mouth. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mouth. But live to fight another day. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, this is absolutely... Oh, this could be over soon. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's going to keep going there. Burns, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Seconds winding down in round two. Round three next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Third it. round underway. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Sean. <laughs> I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, a big left hand! Oh! Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. 
just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sean And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better.